All right. It is Ash Wednesday, and today you either have gotten your ashes or will get your ashes at 7 o'clock. Um, but I wanted to start you off with an activity that everyone in the family can do and just let you know that the Faith Formation Office is going to not be live this season of Lent, um, but we'll be sharing out activities that you can do with your families. Um, and we'll leave information at church as well. Uh, and it will also be in the Google Classroom. So what we talk about, there'll be supplies in the back of the church um, on the weekend masses so that you can enjoy doing these if you don't have the supplies at home. Uh, but in case you do, um, you can get a head start as well if you don't want to wait till this weekend. But um, in front of me, strips of paper. And you know how to make a chain, whether you glue or you tape or you staple. I'm going to steal a staple for a second. Um, and you add another one in there. So, key is. 40, 40 strips of paper that you're going to create a Lenten chain with. And um, as I encourage you this Lenten season to not only maybe give up something, but to add something into your day. And think of 40 people that you want to pray for. And you're going to write a name on each sheet. And so each loop is going to have a name of a different person. And then every day you're going to wake up and take off one of those loops and pray for that person for that day. And that is going to be your prayer person. And what I mean by that is this. So maybe I'm going to pray for um, my grandma or my grandpa, or my mom or my dad, um, or somebody in my family. So I'm going to put mom, dad, brother, sister, their name. And that's who I'm going to pray for for the day. And so I will pray for them when I take their name off the limb, but I can also pray for them throughout the day. Anytime I have a spare moment and my mind wanders, I want my mind to wander to that person. Every task that I do, whether it is unloading the dishwasher, I'm going to unload the dishwasher today and, and thinking and doing this for my mom, um, service for my mother or whomever it is. Um, that is your, the power that you have to keep that person in the front of your mind. And students, you can put initials on the corner of a piece of paper and have that be with you. Or even put it on your, your phone so that every time you open your phone, you can change your background so that you know who you're praying for that day. And that will trigger that thought for yourself. Whatever trick is going to work for you, use it. And here's my other challenge. It is really easy for us to pray for people that we care about and love, love easily. But we have to remember that Jesus asked us to love everyone, our worst enemy, but definitely all of our neighbors as ourselves. So I also want you to add onto this list the names of people that maybe you are struggling with, maybe that you're in a fight with, Maybe that you're angry at and or maybe that just annoys you at work or in the classroom or wherever you may be and I want you to put their name on one of these as well and I want you to pray for that person on that day and not pray for them to be nicer to you but just pray for them and ask God to be present with them and to help them and to heal them and to be there and give them peace and let them feel the love of God. You're going to pray 40 different names, 40 different people. Create your prayer chain. Take a link off every day. And that person is the person you're going to pray for that day. And start your Lenten journey doing something for other people. I wanted Amelia to come on here, my daughter, to share with you guys her trick that she did a couple of months seasons ago, instead of giving up something, she did something. And every day she wrote on a little post-it note, a uh, note about somebody. And she stuck it in her locker or stuck it on their notebook and just did it on a sly and wrote nice things that she liked about that person or what she saw in them. I love your laugh. I love how you are always a good listener. I love how you do whatever. 
And she left these notes in different spots and snuck them in. And she did 40 of them. So 40 different people throughout her day got these notes, uh, throughout the time, I should say. And it wasn't until a little later that they finally figured out who it was. But one of the gifts she talked about a lot was that gift of seeing somebody else read a note from her, not knowing it was from her, but watching their eyes light up and their face smile and, and knowing that the good things about them are recognized. This Lenten season, let's share God's love with others. This world needs more love, and so let's spread it. That's my Lenten challenge to you to start off this Lenten season. Uh, join us every week. We will be sharing uh, two activities, one for adults in high school-aged or middle-aged, middle-aged, middle school-aged students on up. So everybody from like sixth grade on up will kind of share an activity. And then we'll also have something for um, younger children to work on too. Another part of this activity that we'll have available for this weekend is not only the strips, but there are really cool people. And so you can think of all the people. So that's something you can maybe talk about with your families are like, who are the people we should pray for? And you can make firemen and police officers and teachers and neighbors and just whomever it is. And you can create those people. And that's kind of a fun one for younger students to do as well. And even us um, people who like to be creative, create a chain of 40 people of who we're going to pray for. And on that one, you can do it reverse. You can create one every single day and add it so that you have the full 40 by Easter. Or you can spend a day creating them and just take one off at each time. But if you're doing the strips and you're making your prayer chain, make your prayer chain on one night. Just put down your 40 people who you're going to pray for. And I would suggest take a moment to pray before you start. And ask God to be present with you in determining who needs your prayers. Happy Lenten season. Actually, not happy. Remember, we're going to be solemn and think about what does the season prepare us for? And help us to be thankful for the sacrifices that are made for us. And as the ashes are put on our forehead this Wednesday, let those be the ashes of our sins and let us rise again and start a new day and becoming the best people that we can be and spreading that love everywhere. Wishing you the best as you start your lunch and drink.